The Frogs and the Crane Once upon a time in the forest, there was a lovely band. This band was situated in the heart of the forest. Around the tree, grow tall crosses and many flowering plants. In the band lived many frogs. Now, the frogs lived happily. But they could not agree on only one thing. They could not decide who their chief would be. Most of their days, they spent croaking and fighting about who will be the next chief. I will be the next chief, croak one of them. Then another would croak, no, it is me who would be the chief and not you. Three of the frogs were of the opinion that only they alone could be the chief. And because of this, they didn't have a chief. They croaked and croaked, but never came to a definite decision. Then one day, a long-legged crane came to the pond. The crane was quite hungry. All the croaking frogs caught the crane's attention. Now, the crane set its eyes on one of the frogs that had been saying that he should be the chief. The frog gave a frightened croak the moment the crane caught it with its beak. The frog tried to escape but could not. The moment the crane was about to eat the frog, it felt a slimy thing around its leg. Oh, sighed the crane, I'll have to let this frog go. The moment the crane loosened its jaw, the frog leaped away. That afternoon, the crane ate the snake for its lunch. In the evening, the crane could still hear the frogs arguing about who should be the chief. But the frog, had been caught by the crane, remained silent. The crane set its eyes on the fatter one of the two. But before the crane could gobble the fat frog, the crane saw something that let the frog escape. Now, the same evening, the crane was still around and was still hungry. And the two frogs that had encountered the crane did not say anything. But the third frog still said, I should be the chief. At this time, the crane quietly crept behind the frog and ate the noisy frog in one gulp.